Another player we have to talk about whose stock is rising. It's Baker Mayfield, and we weren't even sure we were going to see him Thursday night, but the situation was such that he had to come in and win the game. How excited were you to see Baker Mayfield <laughs> and what he was able to do with getting Cleveland their first win in a long, long time? Yeah, it's exciting to watch a guy like Baker Mayfield finally get on the field. It was super unfortunate that it was because of a concussion because I've always been a, a Tarod Taylor fan. And to see him go down like that, it's disappointing. But Baker kind of lived up to what his, his hype was as the number one overall pick, as one of the most efficient quarterbacks in college football history. He goes out there, he adds 9.29 expected points as a pastor based on number fires metrics. And Tarod Taylor, before that concussion, was at negative 27.55 for the season. So this was a major up upgrade for this Browns offense. You kind of tell that Taylor wasn't quite feeling it so far this year. So I think this is a major upgrade for Baker Mayfield because he he is going into a good situation where he has Jarvis Landry. He has David Njoku. He has the good running backs that they have in a decent offensive line. He goes out to Oakland for week number four and he has $6,900 on FanDuel. I think I can use Baker Mayfield, but I also want to use a guy like Jarvis Landry because he's getting insane usage. So I think this is a, a great situation where you can buy into to Baker Mayfield from day one. You can use him in season long leagues. I think you can, add, I'm going to use him in DFS in week number four as well. And uh, also to me, it does, it does count as an upgrade for Jarvis Landry specifically, but also the, the kind of tertiary pieces, the side pieces there, like David and Joku and Antonio Callaway. He's got a lot of swagger, Baker Mayfield. We'll see if he can keep it up in week four.